Yes, sir. Congratulations to all of my graduates out there. I don't care if you're in the fifth grade, eighth grade, 12th grade, and yes, college. I don't care if you're on the East Coast, West Coast, up North, down South, Midwest. This is for you. Congratulations. You did it. You did it through a pandemic year. You did it through all of the trials and tribulations. Congratulations. And I know, I know, I'm not your normal commencement speaker. I'm virtual. This is for you, though. I know I didn't come up here in a suit and tie. I didn't come in here with uh, no energy, but that's not me. So my first lesson to all of my college graduates, to all of my fifth grade, eighth grade, 12th grade graduates is to always be true to yourself. To always be true to yourself, regardless of what people try to say about you, how people try to tell you you should act, be true to you, because that matters. And what I want you to do right now is give yourself a hand. Yes, come on, seriously. As you're watching this video, give yourself a hand because it is always important to celebrate the big wins and the small wins. And this right here is a big win. I love it. You're on the right path. You're destined for greatness. So let me not go that far with you right now. I have some things I wanna share with you. But my name is Shamil Gary and I am from Tulsa, Oklahoma, born and raised. I went to Booger T. Washington, state champs. Uh, from there, I went to the University of Wyoming, Oklahoma State. I played four years in the NFL for the Dolphins, Patriots, and Bills, and everyone knows what the NFL stands for. Not for long. <laughs> I know you're laughing right now. That was a great one. But after that, I was able to move on and make an even better impact than playing in the NFL. Now I go across the country and I do speeches just like this right here. But hopefully one day I'll be able to see you in person. So I wanted to get on here and celebrate you guys. I wanted to get on here and share two key lessons from my life that I think will be beneficial for all levels, fifth grade, ninth grade, 12th grade, and college. All phases of your life. And I remember when I graduated. I remember when I graduated from the fifth grade, uh, from the eighth grade, from the 12th grade, and from college. I had so many emotions running through my mind. Uh, I was excited because when I was younger, I was like, yes, I'm one step closer to being grown. My parents can't tell me nothing. I run the house now. But now that I'm grown, uh, you know, I had it good when I was young. I didn't have to pay any of the bills. So do not rush the process. But I was also excited for the next chapter of my life. I was excited uh, for summer and time away from school. Maybe you feel that way. But I was also nervous. Like, what was my next chapter of my life gonna look like? Will I still be friends with the same people? Will I be able to measure up and be successful? I had all these emotions running through my mind, self-doubt, confidence. At the same time, it was, it was wild. And maybe you have these same emotions. Maybe you're excited for the next chapter. Maybe you're excited to be done with school. Maybe you're excited to uh, be grown, but do not, don't rush the process. But maybe you're nervous. Maybe you don't think you'll measure up. Maybe you don't think you'll be good enough. It's all normal emotions. I had, I've had all those emotions before, but what I wanna let you know right now, and this is the first lesson, write this down, is whether it was from the fifth grade to the sixth grade, whether it's from the eighth grade to the ninth grade, whether it's from 12th grade to college and college to the NFL, in order for me to be successful, in order for me to have my, my goals reached, in order for me to be the best possible person, it was on me. It was on me. I was the key to my success. And so the first lesson I want you guys to know right now, you are the key to your success. You have everything inside of you right now to be successful. You have everything inside of you right now to accomplish your goals. You have everything inside of you right now to be great. You are destined for greatness. But the key is, this is lesson number two, the key is you have to know it. You have to believe it. Because in life, there's times where you doubt yourself. There's times where, you know, those haters that are born every 2.42 seconds, they make you stop believing in yourself. Cause you know, haters, they're just born hating. Like, ha, hate, hate, hate. That's what they would do. They drink haterade. 
they go to hater middle school, high school, college. Hater, there, there's haters that are old people. They, they watch hater middle school, they watch hater television. That's just what haters do. So I, I don't want to keep on going, but you know someone that is a hater in your life. But the key thing that, that we can't do, we can't do is we can't allow the doubters, the haters to make us stop believing in who we are, to make us stop believing in the dream, to make us think we need to compare our lives to other people, to make us think we don't have everything inside of us right now to be successful. We can't let that happen because uh, you can think of a moment in your life where you have had that happen to you. I know I have. I remember when I was a young kid, my dream was to be Spider-Man, you can laugh at me, but I allowed the, la the, the people who laughed at me, the haters, the doubters, to stop my dream of being Spider-Man. Yeah, I wanted to be a superhero. I wanted to be, I still want to be an anime character, like still to this day, Goku or uh, Naruto or whatever, but that's a whole nother topic for another day. But as I got older, I had another doubter. I had another hater, a coach that was close to me. And you would think a coach would be a person that uplifts you, that makes you believe in yourself. But this coach, you know, I wanted to be an NFL player. I wanted to be a D1 athlete. And he said, I mean, I wouldn't worry about football, man. I don't think football's in your cards. Just work or just worry about your academics. Now, I already let some haters in the past steal my dream. I already let some doubters in the past take it away from me and make me stop believing in myself. I for dang sure wasn't gonna let another doubter, another hater, stop me from my dream. And sometimes these could be your friends. These could be your family members. These could be people that are so close to you. These could be trolls on the internet. And we can't allow these people to steal what's inside of us. We can't allow people to steal our greatness. And that's why I didn't allow happen. Because they disguise it as, just be realistic. Dream big. Get outside your comfort zone. If everyone was being realistic, we wouldn't have any cell phones. We wouldn't have planes. We wouldn't have satellite. We wouldn't have the internet if everyone thought realistically. So that's my message to you right now is stay true to who you are. Celebrate yourself. Know that you are the key to your success. You have everything inside of you right now to be successful and believe it, know it, taste it, visualize it because that's who you are. And then lastly, go work for it. Every single day, just get 1% better. Move the needle and I promise you, if you do all of that right there, I guarantee you will bear the fruits of your labor. You will be where you're supposed to be. So everyone, to all of my graduates, congratulations. You did it. You are destined for greatness. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Go have fun and then get back to work knowing that you are the key to your success. So do not trade what you want most for what you want in the moment and have a blessed rest of 2021. Be great.